Hi Cancer and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexa Taro and today I'll be channeling messages focusing on what energies are you leaving behind here in the month of June and what blessings are coming in your direction and uh, where are you going to be walking towards in the month of June. Now before I start your reading just take a look down below in the description box and if you are interested in getting access to the exclusive bonus content portion of this reading where I'll be channeling from all these decks right here and I'll be focusing on what uh, potential blessings are coming in your direction in regards to love, career, and what mindset you need to have in order to maximize your blessings, then take a look down below in the description box and click on my Patreon link. That's going to take you over to my Patreon and there you can find or have access to these exclusive bonus messages under tier number two, which is the Oracle of Revelation. Now, if you're interested in learning more about me, my story, my credentials, my client testimonials, or if you are interested in a one-to-one -one private reading, then look down below in the description box and click on my Paths of Healing website. It is all there for you, and I look forward to you reaching out. Please don't forget to click on your notification bell so that you are aware whenever I am live uh, on my live stream and or whenever I post new messages. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. Don't forget those thumbs. Don't forget to give those thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe. And here you go with your first message. What will you potentially be walking away from here, Cancer, in the month of June? And you have here Pink Lotus Fairy. It says a time for spirit. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to be walking away from this, but this means here that you need to walk away from whatever it is that that is causing you um, or may cause you some type of obstacle challenge or situation or blockage here in the month of June. There may be something here that may be coming in your direction, or there may be here some situation, circumstances, or event with maybe loved ones, family, friends, work. This could be career. This could be in your love life. It could be in any way, shape, or form, or it could be just being very busy energetically. If it's not that, what I mean busy energetically is like you feel like like you're kind of like in this stuck energy, like you have so many things either truly, really happening around you that are requiring your, uh, your focus and your assistance and your, um, uh, ability to take care of something. And then you're kind of feeling drained, right. Or feeling as if you're not, um, you know, you're not, your true authentic self isn't flourishing or isn't, you know, kind of like shining through, right? Because you're just kind of like multitasking. And that's the energy that I'm feeling here. Like there's a lot here that may either come up in, in reality here, reality wise in love and career or demands that are being placed on you and kind of like you being all over the place. So this is saying here, in order for you to bring this energy into balance, in order for you to juggle or better negotiate or better manage here, that energy, there is a requirement here for the month of June for you to really tune in to yourself and tune that busyness, whether in the earthly plane, meaning something that will uh, uh, you know, come in your direction and you have to pay attention and you you feel like your energy is all over the place or making more time or consistent, consistently really tuning in to yourself. This is like also what I'm getting here is like taking a break, taking a breather in some way, shape or form. And one of those ways can be here through meditation, right? So that's how this is coming across, taking a break from whatever is taking your attack, uh, you're taking up so much of your attention or your energy or your emotions or your mind, right? For some of you, this is just kind of reminding you you're way too much on either social media, on electronic devices, TV, watching movies. Like there's too much of external, um, kind of like entertaining yourself with external things 
and not really take, taking the time or paying attention to your internal balance, okay? So it's like kind of like a way of coping with something is by going outward rather than inward. So that is the energy here that is being reminded for you to kind of pay attention to and be aware of here in the month of June, to pay attention to that inner, uh, to that inner silence, to that inner balance. You also have here... The emperor. Okay, now, in order for you to regain your sense of confidence, your sense of uh, being focused, being practical, and really kind of in a way leading with your mind and with your uh, logical sense, there is a need for you to tune into yourself, okay? This guidance is going to come internally for you. It's kind of like in a way turning down or dialing down the internal noise so that you are able to tune into yourself and lead better okay be a better leader okay be able to uh, take those cues those sign symbol synchronicities and really work them in your favor here in the month of june now let's take a look here uh cancer what else here do you need to do uh, or I should say what well, blessings are coming in your in your direction for some reason I'm, I'm channeling things that you need to do so let's see what, how that fits in here with this message here okay that means that I need to shuffle a little bit more what blessings are coming in your direction here cancer well you have here the one who is wild now there it says wild uh, untamed, wild, and mysterious. And I feel here, remember that energy that I was talking to you about earlier, that energy that I felt here is kind of like you're going to be either putting on, a, putting out a lot of fires where there is a sense of um, something or some a person, a person, obstacle challenger or situation that's going to require your attention and you're going to feel like you're being pulled in many directions. That's what is coming across here with this. Now, how is this a blessing? Well, Look at this. It has two birds here. So one of the ways that you can uh, manage this into a blessing is communication. Communication is going to be key here, and it's going to be one of the blessings that are going to help you here cope with these energies that may be coming in your direction here as a blessing in the month of June. Now, what's interesting is that these two birds are what looks like ravens, okay? Um, so ravens tend to be a symbol here of shamanic messages okay or intuitive messages messages that are coming from your inner oracle your gut level feeling your um you know your for some of you it's just your higher self okay so being able to tune into that which again pairs here as confirmation validation of what i was talking to you here earlier and what i channeled here earlier in regards to this pink lotus so in order for you to remain calm, cool, and collected here as this emperor in the month of June, there is a requirement here for you to really tune in to your inner oracle. You also have here the one who hesitates. And it says here, ponder, delay, and confidence. Your blessing of really connecting with your own confidence, your own leadership abilities, your unique way of handling certain situations, okay? Here with ponder and delay, the, what I'm getting here is there's no need for you to continuously allow to your yourself to procrastinate from taking that breather, all right, from really tuning in to your inner oracle. And I feel here that there may be here in the month of June this sense of I'm so busy, I don't have time to, uh, you know, really connect with meditation or I'm so busy or I'm being pulled in so many directions or there's such a high demand on my energy or responsibilities that I need to take care of that you're putting this aside as something that you are placing in the back burner when in reality here the blessing is the blessing that's coming in and it's telling you here you need to place you in the front burner you need to place your ability to tap into your inner oracle your higher self and really allow yourself to really gain those messages through sign symbol synchronicities paying attention and sometimes paying attention requires a silent moment for yourself and look at this you have the the Seder here, it says rivalry and indulgence, okay? This is basically 
kind of like what I'm getting here is this devil energy here, okay? Um, the devil energy in tarot. Now, what this is saying here is that there's something that's not being placed in moderation. And like I said a little earlier, procrastination. In order for you to be able to kind of, in a way, sidestep this energy right here is your ability to tune in to and resolve in the month of June this lack of moderation that you may have as an old pattern of behavior, all right? So how do you do that? Pretty much here, um, cancer is coming across as you needing a time out, a mental time out, an emotional time out so that you can do a real deep check-in and really see how you can lead in all aspects and areas of your life, just as this emperor here. Cancer, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to click down below. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, to click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down below in the description box to meet me on Patreon. And if you are uh, wanting more messages, you have some messages here and up here, and I'll meet you on Patreon. Have a good one, and until next time.